moving on to responsibility centers what are responsibility centers for that let's uh, have this basic understanding when organization grows their functions organizational structure and other related functions also grows not only in volume but also in complexity so in those situations in order to have better control over the organization management should delegate its responsibility and authority to various departments or persons and those departments or persons will be called as responsibility centers okay so when organization size grows management should delegate responsibility authority to various persons or departments and they'll be called as responsibility centers now these responsibility centers are responsible for expenditure revenue profitability return on investment and performance of these responsibility centers will be measured against standards standards can be in the form of input output ratio it can be budgets and these responsibility centers will be evaluated against their organizational goals and performance targets whether they are in line with expectation okay so this is the basic idea about responsibility center now let's see what are the classification what are the types of responsibility centers we have basically there are four types of responsibility centers we have cost center revenue center profit center investment center let's see one by one at first cost center cost centers are those responsibility centers which are accountable for the cost that are incurred under its control okay so the performance of these responsibility center that is cost center will be measured against the predetermined standards and budgets now this cost center itself can be classified into two types it is we have standard cost center discretionary cost center first let us understand standard cost center standard cost center is a cost center where the output is measurable and what is the input required for producing one unit of output can be specified it means the standard units of input required to produce one unit of output can be set and because of this the actual cost of input will be compared or can be compared with the standard cost and if there is any deviation the deviation can be measured and it can be analyzed so why there is a deviation is it something controllable or uncontrollable so what is happening here we know how much units of input is required for producing one unit of output based on that standard cost is established when actual cost is incurred that is compared with the standard cost and the deviation is measured so deviation is also classified as controllable and uncontrollable cost okay so in case of standard cost centers it is the manager of the cost center who is responsible for complying with the standard and he'll be held responsible if there are any adverse variance in cost because when input and output can be predefined there cannot be any variance so if at all there is any variance and if it is uh, classified as controllable and uncontrollable and if things are uh, because of his mistake then he'll be held responsible for adverse cost variances okay so that's about standard cost center then we have discretionary cost center discretionary cost centers are those cost centers where output cannot be measured in financial terms that is we cannot define input output ratio so in these cost centers what we'll do is the cost of input cannot be compared with the standard cost because standard cost cannot be established but the cost of input will be compared with the allocated budget for that activity example for discretionary cost center can be research and development department advertisement department where the output cannot be measured precisely okay so this is about discretionary cost center so now we have a fair idea about cost center then let us also understand revenue centers revenue centers are those centers which are accountable for generating revenue for the organization example can be sales department and this department is responsible for achieving the sales target and revenue generation for the organization and these departments generally they do not have control over the expenditures they have incurred it can be something related to selling activities like uh, say commission to sales person and all okay so they are the focus is only generation of revenue 
they are responsible only for revenue generation then comes profit center profit center are those centers which are responsible for generating revenue and they are also responsible for the expenditures they have incurred the managers of those profit centers will be accountable for the cost and revenue and profitability will be used as a tool for measuring the performance of profit centers examples can be decentralized branches of an organization if you go to a branch of a bank it is basically a profit center then finally investment centers investment centers are those centers which are responsible for profitability as well as capital investment decisions the performance of these investment centers will be measured against return on investment and profits examples can be this maharatna navratna miniratna companies of uh, public sector undertakings of central government